One of the last things that you'll want to do after you've completed your software is to make sure that you do a backup. I would always recommend to do a backup and put it on the PC and then do a second backup and put it on a thumb drive and remove it from the PCs. We get daily calls that a PC has uh, crashed and they can't recover the information and they have to go back and rebuild the software completely. So the way to do a backup is we would go to Tools, Database, we would do a backup now. You can leave it at the folder it has it assigned or in my case I always like to put it on the desktop so I know where it's going and then I tell it OK. Our software always closes out when you export, backup, or import uh, software. It has to do that in order to reconnect and uh, you will always see it. It takes about 30 seconds to 60 seconds for that to complete. You can open up your watchdog and um, you will see when it's ready you will see your networks and your panels and again it takes approximately 30 to 60 seconds for this to happen. Often we get calls as this is now ready. Often we get calls that it says that it can't do a backup or you do the backup and nothing happens or you do the import and nothing happens and the problem to this about 100 percent of the time is that the SQL database is not set to local. The way that we set uh, SQL to local is we go to the bottom of the screen we right click and we start task manager. From there we select services and then we go down to the bottom and select services. When we get a list of our files we go to our SQL database uh, if, if for whatever reason you added a different name to it uh, you would go to that one. In our case our software installed it so it puts it in as Veritrax. You double left click on it to open this up. You go to your log on tab and what you'll see most often is this account is checked. You need to put it in local system account. You'll tell it to apply and you'll tell it OK. Once you've done that, then you need to restart the service. Uh, so you just would leave it highlighted, go to restart, hit your restart button, and from there, if you haven't closed out your extract software, close it out and reopen. And then from that point, you will be able to do your import or export. Thank you.